All right, y'all. So, last man standing. Um, I'm damn sure I'm about to be out here when the sun come down. Cause look, look at me, man. Like I'm around just random graffiti and possibly death. Who knows? We'll see, man. The rain is keep going in and out, in and out, in and out. Low key, the spot kind of freaked me out a little bit. Yo, what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Nell Roy. Welcome back to my channel, Fitch and Trips. We'll be back with another vlog, y'all. Check it. Got a special one for y'all. I'm back out here in these crabbing streets. Out on another crabbing adventure. Now, the interesting thing about this episode, I'm not supposed to be starting this episode right now because I'm not actually at the spot I'm at. I'm on my way to the spot, but as I'm going, I'm noticing on my GPS, there's another spot that I pinned that I've never been to before. So I just wanted to make a quick pit stop and check it out. It's been raining for damn near an hour straight. So yeah, come check out this spot, man. I might have to just throw one crab net over here just to test it out and head out to my another spot. But the good thing about this spot is, as you can see, it's covered. Yeah, it's covered. So yeah, man, am I gonna stay at this spot? I don't think so. No, we're gonna do net. One net, we're gonna prospect one chicken, see how deep it is, because if I'm not gonna fish here today, I'll come back later. But since it has this covered, this covered patio section over here, I might have to actually check out this spot. Let me let y'all look on what I'm looking at. You yeah. All right. Muddy. This is crazy, right? Absolute crazy. Yeah, man. So I've never been here before. It's like people put some fires over here or something. I'm not sure what that is. Somebody has a net pole soaking sitting in a truck. So yeah, I'm not sure how deep this water is. But to me, man, you got some metal pilings. How you doing, man? Looks dope. Let's go talk to the local. It's like somebody had a nice fire. Truck's over there. So talking to the um, guy from that truck over there, he's been fishing about three hours, said he hasn't had any luck. But he did say he did see people crabbing, pulling up crabs around the grass line. I think it's a boat ramp over here somewhere. I'm not sure. Um, I just want to know how deep this is. I mean, I'm already here, right? So I might as well try. It says a couple of three or four foot gators. Now this river is close to the spot that I'm going to where I spotted a 10 foot gator. I'll try to put some drone footage in there. I don't know y'all. This looks really crabby. Let's just test it out before we head to the other spot. Like I say, it's been raining all day, it's time to stop. Good thing is, is that um, if it does rain, we got plenty of cover right here. All right, let's grab a couple of crab nets and test it out. Yeah. All right, y'all, so what I'm gonna do is set up just two pods, two nets, as you can see here. Really simple process, man. Strap my chicken here, we drop it down. Buoy keeps my line up. Got about 20 foot lanyard and a little buoy. I don't drop these from a boat or a kayak, I can, but we're just gonna put these on land. So let's just put a couple pieces of chicken on there. And like I say, I'm just prospecting. This is not even a spot. I anticipated stopping at. The rain is stopping, so that's good. So I just want to try two. We'll get about like 15 minutes and see if the spot can produce. If it can, then I guess it's going to be a change of plan where I'm going to be crabbing here under the very big bridge. <laughs> oh man, you just never know what you get with fishing chips, right? It's a fishing adventure. I met some cool people under the bridge. I know that sounds really weird, but. <laughs> You know, you never know if you're on a bridge, are the people cool or kind of crazy. All right, so we got a two pods. Let's go over there, drop them. Get about 10, 15 minutes and see if this spot's good enough. If not, we'll head to the real spot or I could change the episode and we can fish right here. Yeah. All right, y'all. So I know there's gators here, which I'm not really excited about. Jesus Christ. The rain is off and on. So we're gonna push y'all down real quick. 
don't fall please fuck it down here comes rain again which makes me think I should probably drop underneath the bridge but we'll put one over here first though and see what happens before the rain hits there we go looks good all right gotta be super careful once again i don't know how deep it is my lanyard's 20 feet still dropping still dropping still dropping oh wow yo it is super deep barely have enough it's roughly 15 it's about 15 foot deep right here just enough to let that hang out there if a gator decides he wants it it's a wrap it's his gator comes this is your net now buddy like i said the rain is picking up i am not in waterproof mode with my equipment for a camera so we need to hurry up there we go are we free? Are we finally free? Jeez, Louise. All right, we're free. If I fall, it's a wrap. Repeat, if I fall, it is a wrap. Oh, this spot just as deep. It's about 15 feet, about 10 feet. I have nothing to wrap my buoys up with. We'll give it about 10 minutes and we'll see. I have to remember to bring my extra line. My lanyards are 20 feet, but this is about 15 feet. I got just enough that I don't like it hanging over like that. So I'm trying to take it. My buoys are gone. So I tie it to my net. It's a little brace. Then I'm gonna lose my net too. The bad boys will get a two for one. There we go. That'll work. Other guy who's fishing, he's leaving too, so it's only me. Apparently this spot is not good for fishing because like I said, one guy said he was here for three hours, nothing. This guy, he's been here about 30 minutes, I guess no bites. I'm not here for the fish, I'm here for the crabbing. We'll see. I'll be back, y'all. Let you know. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, I'm last man standing. Um, I'm damn sure I'm about to be out here when the sun come down. Cause look, look at me, man. Like I'm around this random graffiti and possibly death. Who knows? We'll see, man. The rain is keep going in and out, in and out, in and out. Low key, the spot kind of freaked me out a little bit. I mean, I'm good, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm good, but still. But still, rain picking up again. If I'm a fish over here, I'm gonna have to drop underneath the bridge, but I bet the bridge is just as deep. What to do right now, what to do? All right, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take an empty net. Hold on. Take an empty net. All right. I'm gonna take an empty net over there underneath the bridge because if it starts raining, I can take refuge underneath the bridge. But also, I need to test out to see if it's underneath the bridge, if it's deeper than 20. If it's deeper than 20, then I can't crap underneath the bridge. All right. So let's go ahead and prospect underneath the bridge Let's see what we can find all right if you come out here man even though you probably never find it super muddy be careful about getting stuck i got on mud boots oh, look at this graffiti on the walls here we go let's come over here y'all on those stable ground all right i just want to test out the depth 
to see how deep it is right here. Now the guy who was fishing, he said he's seen two gators kind of going back and forth, cruising along the shoreline. I haven't spotted any yet. What is, is that a gator? No, that's just water. Just water right now. All right. Once again, if I fall, I'm screwed. Let's see how deep it is. I bet it's even deeper underneath the bridge, of course. Still going. Come on, stop, stop, stop. 15. Oh my God. Yep, I don't got enough rope. Underneath the bridge is deeper than 20 feet. I think there's a boat ramp over here to the right that we might have to explore because that's not gonna work. I don't have enough line. I got some more lanyards at home, but I forgot them because I wasn't anticipating fishing somewhere that's gonna be deeper than 20 foot. With the rope I got at the house, I can easily extend out my line either by 10 feet, even 30 feet. I think there's a boat ramp around the corner over there. Let's go ahead and check our test pods. This spot, I'm not really feeling. Like I say, unless my test pods, test nets, have something in it, this ain't the spot for me. All right, let's go. All right, y'all, so I've arrived at spot number two. I got about two hours to get it done. Now, I came here before um, to try to do some crabbing, but it was late, just like now. So it got really dark. Saw a bunch of gators, really no crabs. But um, somebody told me that this is a good spot. I was just on the wrong spot. So I'm gonna check out the actual good spot. We'll see. All right, so they told me over here. See where I'm at? All right, so that's the dam. Let me take a little peek over here. See, is that a bass? Bro, this must be brackish water. Okay. Apparently this spot. I don't know. Oh, what the hell was that? What the hell? See that? See, I need to start bringing my ultra light rod. I got my really big rod, but I wasn't planning on really big rod fishing. Just some grabbing. Oh, look at that gar. Can y'all see that? Garfish. Wait, 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 wait. Give me the wind. Don't move. You can't see it because of the reflection. There it goes. That's a nice gar. Okay, not here for gar, not here for bass. Fish are blowing up. Look, I got my heavy duty, heavy duty rod um, for bull red. I don't know if there's bull red in here, but there's definitely gar, bass, and some really big alligators. All right, let's go ahead and posse up, man. Let's get our stuff. See what can happen. What time is it? 5.46. I know I just dropped them, but I'm checking them, y'all. I want to see how fast this place is going to produce and not produce. Yeah. It's just fish blowing up here. I know I keep coming to the spot to try to crab it, but I think the fishing might be amazing here. I see Gar. Uh -huh. This one's really deep. Ooh. Really deep, really deep, really deep. Ooh, yes. Yes. Okay. Looks a little bit bigger than the other one. The deepest one. Can't even. 
grip it. This is the deepest one. This is the deep one produced. Oh, another one. There we go. Looks all mustard looking. It still doesn't even know it's caught. Keeper. Yeah, I'm definitely keeper. Nice. All right. This is all nice and brown looking. Another keeper. Once again, y'all, we can catch some big ones. We'll exchange them. Even though these are illegal, if they get some big ones, we'll drop these back in. Nothing again. Here's the extra deep one. Mm. Maybe I gotta let them soak longer. I don't know. Spider, got it. Let's go. Finally. Finally got a nice one. Once again, my bucket is too far away. Finally got a nice one. There we go. Finally. That might be an actual PB. Don't lose it right now. Look at that. I got some meat in it, right? That's a nice crab, y'all. Really, really nice crab. Man. Four hours to get this nice one. Look at that. I put it in that corner over there. Might have to relocate. That's where the big one's at. Just for show. Five. This one's probably almost, probably seven inches. These are some nice looking crabs. As they like to call them like rusty. Oh, look at that. Boy, look at that, y'all. Y'all see how brown it is? That thing is full of meat. Oh no, here comes the rain. Full of meat. Pretty, isn't it? Look at that, y'all. Don't bite me, homie. Wow. I've never seen one so brown. It was just about to molt. They kind of, you know, grow out their shell. So sure enough, man, that is a nice one. Put her in a bucket. Rain is coming, of course, when it's getting good. Of course. Put her in a bucket. All right, y'all, so I'm back at home, back in my kitchen. I hope you enjoyed the catch segment of the episode. Welcome to the clean and cook. Now, the catch was pretty rough, y'all. I crabbed for about five hours and caught about five crabs. That's one keeper crab per hour. Not a good, not a good performance, but I'm gonna turn lemons to lemonade and I'm gonna throw that lemon into my pot. I'm gonna try something I've never done before and that's actually steaming blue crabs. Now I know apparently it's like Maryland versus everybody. In Maryland, it's all about steaming crabs. Down south, we boil everything, right? I never tried steaming crabs before. To me, I don't think it's gonna be as flavorful. We'll see. So I'm gonna take these little small crabs and do a little test. It's not gonna be all super fancy. This ain't gonna be all long. And we'll see if steamed crabs live up to the hype. Let's see what we're working with. All right, y'all, so I'm keeping it super simple. Like I said, this is only a test. This is on the test. One thing I'm gonna be using is vinegar. I keep forgetting to try to use vinegar. Apparently, this makes the crab meat taste sweeter and makes the meat come out of the shell easier. So just a little bit of vinegar. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of garlic salt, just one lemon. I wanna do the Louisiana seasoning like I always do for my boils. I'm not sure if I have to just sprinkle Old Bay on top of the crabs. Got my crabs nice and hibernated on some ice. Yeah, this is only an experiment. We're gonna just do some taste tests, see how it goes. Let's clean one crab and I'll show you how to clean the crab then we'll, we'll, we'll steam it. Let's go. All right, y'all, so let's clean the crab real quick. Now, when I say clean it, you can throw your crab straight into the pot, steam it whole, but I discovered in my last episode, I prefer them clean. I'm just not team crab mustard. I'm not team crab butter. So let me show you how to clean a crab real quick. All right, here's your beautiful crab right there, right? What you wanna do first, what I do anyway, is we'll take off the apron by flipping this up right here, all right? You'll tear that off. As so. Next, what you want to do on, is take your crab and I take these three legs and grip this, right? On the corner of your sink, you kind of hold the legs right here, right? So you're pressing this way, right? And I'm going to take the shell and pull opposite way, right? So press the crab against the sink like this, right? Can y'all see that? Then we're gonna slowly 
pull the head back. Just like that. All right, next, what you wanna do is get the gills. I think they call this dead man something right here. So we don't want the gills, right? Scrape off the gills. A spoon works great. So don't just put like turning around the grit one. All right, gills off like that. Tear off the face right here. I know it sounds graphic. There we go, tear off the face. And that's what I'll do is a little water here. All right, kind of expose the guts. Next, the hack, life hack, toothbrush. Get a toothbrush to get all that crab mustard and butter out. Just like that. Trust me, y'all will thank me later. So we get the crab butter here. Let's turn y'all around a little bit. Just scrub it with a regular toothbrush. It makes things so much easier, super quick. Nothing crazy you gotta worry about. There we go. And that's it, y'all. That is a perfectly fresh cream crab, <laughs> cream crab, clean crab, ready to go into the pot. Let me go ahead and clean out the other ones. We'll throw it in, do a taste test, and we'll be good to go. You. Yeah. All right, y'all. So we got everything prepped and ready to go. I'm gonna do maybe a tablespoon of vinegar. It's only five crabs. You know what? We'll do two tablespoons of vinegar. Once again, apparently this makes it sweet and make the meat easier to come off. Um, next, we'll just put our crabs in. Yeah, we'll put our crabs in next. Now, as far as how long we cook these for, from what I'm looking at when you steam crabs, you know, they turn bright red. So it took about I'm okay, 15 minutes. 15 minutes, give or take. Do a little garlic salt. Go. A little Louisiana crab oil. I wasn't gonna do Old Bay, but just to keep the taste the same as I do with my boy, I wanna keep it fair and partial. Next, we'll get an onion. Onion, it's been a long day. Lemon. Crack that. The lemon in there. There we go. Oh, nice. A little lemon. Like I said, this is a really simple boil today. Clean the cook. I'm just experimenting. That's it. All right, so let me give y'all a view of this. Hold on. A second here, y'all. Give me a second. All right, so we'll just go ahead and crank up our heat. And yeah. We'll let that do its thing. Sorry, be back y'all. If everything goes well, we're gonna get a good money shot, taste test, and we'll be done. Yeah. There you have it. Here comes my favorite part of the episode, the taste test. All right, man. So, I mean, steam crab, it looked good. I ain't gonna lie. It looked good. So, let's so get a bit of look at that right there. Ooh, it's hot. It's hot. So, we'll try the leg first, then the cage. Oh, that was simple enough. Ooh, won't he do it? Just a little butter there. See that? Mm, hold on. Mmm. Oh wow. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting to be the, the the meat is like I don't know if it's moist or softer. But you know what? Maybe I don't know if it, is it because of the steam or is it because I use vinegar for the first time? Hold on, let me another piece here I don't know y'all the meat is definitely softer it's sweet all right so let's just try another piece hold on 
Oh, wow. Okay. All right, so I'm worried. I'm worried that steam crab might be better. And this is why I'm worried. I just don't know if it's better because it's steam or if it's better because of the vinegar. Oh man, I'm not, I can't believe I'm, hold on, let me try another piece here, y'all. Somebody said that I should try to eat more of the food in one of the comments, will do. It's not as spicy comparison to like when it's boiled, right? Somebody also suggests like get a you know spoon and kind of tap it when you boil it. I guess steaming it work too to help get some of those spices in there. All right, I'm trying to give y'all like a definitive answer. Hold on, try another piece. <laughs> and I keep eating because I don't want to say what I want to say. Okay, here's the definitive answer. The texture of steamed crab is better than boiled. It's smoother, it's tender. I can't explain it. But I don't know if it's because of the vinegar or because I steamed it. I don't want to find out. I gotta go out there and catch some more crabs. <laughs> gotta catch some more crabs, add vinegar to my boil, and see if I get this nice velvet texture that I'm getting with the steamed crabs. If I don't, I think steamed crab is might actually might actually taste better. We can get some more seasoning just by like seasoning our butter. Wow, steamed crab is pretty fire. Damn. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Comment below. Are you team steam crab or team boil? Um, also make sure you subscribe. Follow me on my fishing and crabbing adventures. The winter's coming. I'm gonna be having some camping adventures too, so pretty sure you'll be looking forward to that. Once again, y'all, my name is Ray Roy, aka Fishing Trips. Been real. Peace.